The journey to Lord Ram will always begin with Hanuman. Or we can say Lord Hanuman is the gateway to Lord Ram or the Divine. When we think of Lord Hanuman, the first image that comes to our mind is of Dara Singh, a very innocent Pahalwan. But Lord Hanuman was far more than that. He was not just a very innocent Pahalwan and a devotee of Lord Ram. He was as described rightly in Hanuman Chalisa, Vidya Vana Guni Ati Chatur, full of wisdom. He was full of virtues and he was very intelligent. And most of us miss this part. We read Hanuman Chalisa, but we read it from our memory. We don't give enough emphasis to all the words of it. So when I came across a book by Subha Vilas, you can see a small book in my hand. Uh, you know, it uh, made me very curious. Why would someone write a book on Hanuman Chalisa? Because you know, uh, it's not that complicated Sanskrit or something. It's written in, you know, uh, a language which is very easy to understand. So why would someone make an effort to write a book out of it? When I read the description, I understood that uh, most of us miss the real context behind the words used in Hanuman Chalisa. And when I went through the book, I read the book, you know, I understood the deeper meanings of every word that is used in Hanuman Chalisa. Like, as I explained, Vidyavan Guni Ati Chatur. So, Vidyavan, Vidyavan means he is full of wisdom. He has, he is very knowledgeable. Guni, Guni means virtue. He is full of virtues. He has so many virtues in him. Guni Ati Chatur and very intelligent. These phrases describe him so perfectly. Now, let me give you an example of Kanan Kundal Kunchit Kesa. So, which means, you know, there, is a, there are earrings in his ear, uh, ears, Kanan Kundal, and he is Kunchit Kesa, golden hairs. So, at times I used to, you know, just, I thought maybe it's just, uh, you know, uh, description of his beauty or of his, you know, clothes, how. Uh, generally, the bhajans of Lord Krishna or Lord Ram are where they you know, describe what he is wearing, what kind of attire he used to wear, how beautiful he used to look. I always thought, you know, okay, these words are just to describe his beauty, to describe his attire. But no, there are a lot of, uh, you know, deeper stories behind it. So, to give you an example, so when Lord Hanuman was in the womb of his mother, Anjani, Lord Bali was informed through a prophecy that a divine child is going to be born and you need to kill him. So he tried a lot of methods but could not succeed. Then he tried to made a portion of five different alloys. You know, the use of that portion was that if a pregnant woman would consume it, the child in the womb would die. So now he arranged to, you know, get that portion delivered to Anjani and even Anjani consumed it and King, Wali was, King Bali was very happy since she has consumed the poison now the child would die he would wait every single day that you know the news of miscarriage would come but it never came and the child took birth when the child took birth he was born with a kundal in his ears with a earring earring made of those five alloys so you know the word kanan kundal came because he was born with earring in his ears and then kunchit kesa so there are two three stories you know given as a con to create a context for why he was called Kunchit Kesa. First is a very common story we all know uh, as a child Lord Hanuman took uh, the sun god in his mouth and you know that time his whole body blew up. The second story is very interesting. This is before the war when Lord Rama sent Hanuman towards Lanka to see you know if he can find Mata Sita there. Since he was god you know he was aware if no one else can definitely Hanuman will find Sita so he gave him a ring if you meet Sita please you know show him show her the ring and she would identify you as my dut and accept you you know whatever message you deliver she'll accept it so Hanuman took the ring now you know Hanuman's attire did not had obviously did not had any pockets so he could not risk keeping it in his hand because during the fight during the flight maybe it would fall he could not keep it in the folds of his dhoti because you know during the long journey it may fall somewhere during a fight or during a you know flying across air so he thought the safest place to put a ring and ring had an inscription of lord ram written on it ram written on it 
so you know the safest place he found was his mouth so he kept the ring on his mouth and then he took the flight and as soon as he kept the ring on his mouth his whole body glow up in gold so that is the context behind kunchit kesa and we definitely i don't think most of us at least i did not gave much importance to that before you know i got to know this story so this book by vila subhas you can see this book is a very beautifully written book you can read it any time it's a uh, it's small in size if you are traveling somewhere you can read it you know to an, on his on your to and fro journey and uh, the flow of the book is very beautiful at no point would you get bored yes there are definitely some stories which get repeated because you know uh, the same words do get repeated uh, in the hanuman chalisa so those a few stories you know here and there they get repeated but the whole flow of the book is very beautiful it is very lucidly written even a 10 year old kid can read it and understand it and it's if you are a hanuman devotee i would say you should definitely read it now i wanted to share with you one more story from this book uh, it comes from the line you know uh, vidyavan guni ati chatur he is at multiple places in hanuman chalisa he has been called very intelligent and if you read this book you'll understand that that is the most uh, important aspect that we missed about lord hanuman uh that he's you know whenever there is a situation that arises he knows you know uh, what is the right solution to it whenever diff- difficult question comes to him where you know lord rama tried to test him a multiple times and uh, he came up with such beautiful answers that even lord rama was spellbound by him so in one of the occasions when before the war lord rama was meeting all his you know uh, monkey army and everyone was in line and you know excited about meeting lord ram because being monkeys they never expected lord to himself come and meet them motivate them gift them something bless them and they felt very 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 happy and everyone was excited so was lord ram because you know seeing excitement it, excitement is always contagious so you get excited but ram ram was looking for a very special person uh, hanuman in the line because he could not find anyone he has been talking to the whole army for some time now and he could not see lord hanuman he was missing so you know he searched here and there and then he saw at the end of the line lord hanuman was standing so ram continued and when he reached hanuman so he tried to play a very you know uh, innocent he placed a very innocent question to lord hanuman ke hanuman now i have given everything to others what would i give you you know all my gifts are over all my blessings i have given them what can i give you now so you know it's a very important very deep question you know testing the bhakt that what would you say now so hanuman very intelligently falls to his feet and catch holds of it so ram was like leave me come up you know let me hug you so he said no no my world is here at your feet let me stay here so he said no no come up i want to hug you so no i want to stay in your feet so lord ram said ke don't you know there is no difference between my chest and my feet and that this was the moment what hanuman said ke lord when there is no difference between your chest and your legs let me stay at your leg you know he was that kind of wise and very intelligent being i hope uh, you get a chance to read this book by subha vilas it's very beautifully written trust me you should read it and every devotee of lord hanuman should read it at least once because it will give you a holistic context of the whole hanuman chalisa so it's a very small book do read it and uh, thank you so much for being with me for this long i hope you enjoyed the video thank you